Hello, welcome to PSU Connectpedia and you're watching today's latest news. Jaya Varma Sinha, the first woman appointed to Apex Post of Indian Railways. Srimati Jaya Varma Sinha took over the charge of new chairperson and chief executive officer of the Railway Board Ministry of Railways today in Rail Bhavan. The Appointments Committee of Cabinet approved the appointment of Srimati Jaya Varma as chairperson and CEO of Railway Board. She is the first woman to be appointed as this epic post of Indian Railways. Secretary Coal reviews vigilance activities of Coal India Limited. Amrit Lal Meena, Secretary Government of India, Ministry of Coal, chaired a review meeting of Chief Vigilance Officer, CVOs of Coal India Limited and its subsidiaries and NLC India Limited at New Delhi. Meena directed the Vigilance Officer to gear up for the prevention of irregularities and urged widespread implementation of various IT initiatives as the grassroots level. NTPC Oil Inc. MOU for RE and Green Initiatives NTPC, India's largest power utility having presence across the value chain of power sector with a total installed capacity of 73,024 MW, and Oil India Limited, a state-owned oil company engaged in the business of exploration, development and production of crude oil and natural gas, have signed an MOU on 31st of August to explore collaboration in the areas of renewable energy, green hydrogen and its derivatives, geothermal and other decarbonization initiatives. The two Maharatna giants through this MOU intend to enhance their footprints in the renewable energy domain and foray into sustainable solution to advance the efforts towards achieving the nation's net zero targets. Dr. Yatendra Dvivedi assumes charge as Director Personal of Power Grid. Yatendra Dvivedi has assumed the charge of Director Personal of Power Grid Corporation of India Limited on 31st of August 2023. Prior to his joining as Director Personal, he worked as Executive Director HR handling challenging and flagship works and delivered results consistently in a dynamic business environment. MECL signed agreement with Geological Survey of India MECL entered in a Memorandum of Agreement with Geological Survey of India, Northern Region for NGPM Survey in Western part of India. The agreement was signed by CMD MECL Shri I.D. Narayan in the presence of HOD of Geological Services Shri G.S. Dhami and HOD of Business Development Shri R. Karthik from MECL and officers from GSI on August 31st at Lucknow. NHPC hosted 47th Annual Journal Meeting NHPC hosted its 47th Annual Journal Meeting on 31st of August through video conferencing from its corporate office in Faridabad. The member of the company considered proposal for the declaration of dividend of Rs 1.85 per equity share for the year 2022-23, which is inclusive of interim dividend of 1.40 per equity share paid in March 2023. Power Minister and ISA President inaugurates nine solar demonstration projects. The International Solar Alliance hosted its fifth regional meeting in Kigali, Rwanda on 31st of August, supported by the government of Rwanda with 36 countries and ministers of 15 countries participating. At the meeting, the President of International Solar Alliance and Union Minister for Power and New Renewable Energy, Government of India, Sri R.K. Singh, who joined the meeting virtually from New Delhi, inaugurated a total of nine solar power demonstration projects in the Republic of Uganda, the Union of Comoros, and the Republic of Mali. Rashtra Chemicals and Fertilizers gets Navratna status Rashtra Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited has been granted the Navratna status by the Government of India. This is the highest status that can be given to a public sector enterprises. RCF is a leading manufacturer of fertilizers, chemicals, and specialty products. It has a market capitalization of over 7,000 crore and employs over 10,000 people. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down. Thank you.